Welcome to another edition of Job Bounce, so you want my job. Today we're talking to Andre Fisser, who is a primary school teacher. Andre, welcome. Thank you for chatting to us today. Tell us, what does it take to become a teacher? Well, first of all, qualifications, of course. Um, we've been in teaching for close to 20 years. Um, I've done it the way we have a four-year diploma, that I've a uh, full-time diploma, and after that I part-time did my degree mm -hmm. uh, in teaching as well. And yes, and from there on, uh, you just uh, need to get a post, a school that uh, will take you in, and then you start teaching from there. Nowadays, uh, it's slightly different with the, the younger generation. They can actually start um, at the school as an assistant, and then while they do that, uh, they can start uh, you know, going to technicons, uh, certain universities do certain courses, and then they study while they actually, you know, it's like in job training as well. But it's definitely a position that has to have qualifications. Absolutely, yeah. You, know, you can't teach without the actual qualifications. There are people that come out of the private sector, that have certain degrees, but uh, then it's a necessity for them to get an, a qualification, a teaching qualification as well. Okay. And you, you work with younger children. What type of personality do you need to be able to work with children? I think you really have to be a, yeah, I wouldn't call it a, a soft-hearted person. You really have to have a, a love for children. Me, uh, I taught grade uh, 12s, you know, when I started teaching, you know, and I'm now sitting there teaching grade 4s. So yes, I mean, you really have to go down to the level of the child and then, you know, look through their eyes to the world and then you'll know exactly how to, to cope with them. Okay. And then um, everyone has a perception that teaching is easy because you get all the holidays off and you get to work half day. Is it that easy? Is it as nice as what everyone thinks it is? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, first of all, you're planning every day. You know, you need to sit, do the planning for the next day. And with that, you've got the books to be marked. And over and above that, you still have the sport that you have to attend, the coaching. An example, last night we had rugby at Rustenburg and I got home at 10 o'clock. So yes, uh, sure. it's not that easy. Okay. Um, any, any last words of inspiration for any potential teachers out there? Uh, yeah, one thing I can say, we're not here for the money, first of all, uh, but there and then I think uh, the satisfaction that you get out of this job, there is very few jobs, I think, in the world that can actually give you the satisfaction uh, of, the, of the job, you know, where you see a child grow and what you can mean for that child, you know, even if it's years afterwards, you know, having pe uh, people coming to you and saying, thank you, sir, you know, this is what you've done to my life. So you actually, it's a life-changing job as such. Great, thank you very much Andre, thank you thank for joining us.